However, as an anxious individual, the gym is also a bit counterintuitive because you're encountering very attractive people and only becoming increasingly so. And then there's me who is just like, I somewhat understand how this machinery works. It might make me look better. But I have come up with a way to make things a little bit better because within a gym, uh, there's always that type of person. And you know the one I'm talking about, the one who has to let you know that they are at the gym and they are here to exercise and make themselves buff and ripped. And so they verbalize this. You know, they're just like those ooh, ahs in the back and you're just like, what is happening over there? But anyway, thank you so much, that's my time. And now, keep that applause going for my good friend, Stephanie. Paulie was up. Jesus, Phil. My bad, Stephanie. Just Paulie, he was just looking for you. Do you know what for? Did Joe back out? I'm not sure. Damn, man. What? Nothing. I was just considered you to be the fly on the wall around here, Bill. Spider. Excuse me? I'm a spider. No, I heard what you said. What does that mean? Spiders are predators. They have eight eyes. I see everything. Sounds good, Bill. I'm gonna go talk to Polly now. You know you're never more than 10 feet away from a spider at any given time. Right, Stephanie? You're a spider. Got it. Thanks, Bill. Hello? 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 Hey, uh, Stephanie, can you hear me? Hey, yeah. Hey, Jet. Hey, uh, how's it going? I'm well, Jet. Uh, how are things on the other coast? <laughs> Always golden and getting better. Why is that, Jet? Well, let's just say a little birdie told me that one of the studio rats is going to be at the club tonight just to see your act. What? I know, right? Look, the last time we had talked, you said that your act was getting pretty tight. Yeah. And that it was almost ready to be seen. Yeah. So me, being the wise guy that I am, pulled some strings. And now I think you've got your big shot. That's perfect. Thanks, Jet. Hey, don't say I never did anything for you, all right, kid? All right, bye, Jet. <laughs> What's up, Polly? Oh. You wanted to see me? Yeah, Stephanie, come in, come in. Hmm, you were, um, you were pretty good tonight. Was I? Oh, yeah, F fucking hilarious. What was your favorite bit? Bit, darling, the whole thing, start to finish. Like, how could you expect me to choose one piece? What's up? Well, as you may have heard, Joe, the Joe, is coming by with some material for a special. We're all very excited here. Of course he is. What does that have to do with me? Well, if he's filling the crowd and they're getting into it, you may be so inclined to maybe film a special here, which means, you know, it means big fucking money. That's right. Okay, just get to it. What are you asking me? Well, since you're going up before him, you tend to have a habit of rallying up the crowd to an exhausting level. So you're asking me to temper my act to make the almighty Joe funnier? I mean, why didn't you just give me the night off if you thought I'd be too funny? Whoa, 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 I want you to be funny. This is a comedy club after all. I just want you to, mm, what's the, what's the fucking, mm, coast a little. Coast? I can't do that, Polly. I'm sorry. But I have someone really important coming to see me tonight, which could also how many mean... Times? What? I was just thinking to myself, how many times have I seen you in this office promising a special and yet ending up empty-handed? Now, Joe, he just has a better batting average. It's okay. It's not your fault. Your time will come. 
I'm, as a businessman, am just placing my bets on the faster horse. I'm not trying to be a dick. I get it. Thank you. You're being a dick. You can fight me, or you can be back in 30, all right? The choice is yours. And to keep us on friendly terms, here's a drink token. Stephanie, come on. Steffi. be here earlier. I was waiting for my new episode to upload and my stupid fucking Wi-Fi was giving me shit. It's cool. Don't even worry about it. Did it finally upload? I mean, finally. Anyway, how'd the set go? It actually went really well. So, I have such a long face. Eh. Eh. They didn't laugh, or... No, they definitely laughed. <sighs> well, would it make you feel better if you knew we were trending? I have never followed a trend in my entire life. On YouTube, Stephanie, look how many views yesterday's video has. 200,000 views for an eyeliner review? Mm -hmm. You watched? Of course I did. So are you going to tell me what's on your mind? It's nothing. It's just Jack called earlier. And? He said a studio exec is coming to see my set tonight. That's amazing. You should be ecstatic. I am. But you're not. No, I definitely am. So what's the hang-up then? Polly wants me to do something I don't want to do. You know, something that's best for the club. But not what's best for you. I think I see what you're trying to say. <laughs> Look, I get emails, big brands telling me to promote their product. And I have to decide, sell out or keep my integrity. At the end of the day, you just have to say fuck it and do what's best for you. Thank you. Are you gonna come by my place tonight? So your doorman can mistake me for your sister again? <laughs> that only happened once. <laughs> I gotta go. I love you. I love you too. It's like cucumber body wash and peach scented candles and kale chips and nuts and berries. Actual nuts and berries. Now, I'm not a real femme lesbian, but I'm not a butch lesbian either. I'm the kind of lesbian who might carry a purse, but I'd carry it holding it like a football. <laughs> my mom was really proud of Joe. Me. My sister introduces me to her friends, and she's like, meet my sister, Stephanie. She's a professional. Child. Stephanie, hi, how are you? Breathing against my will? Yourself? A little sarcastic there, are we? I feel good, and thank you for asking. Am I allowed to be sarcastic, Joe? Is that okay with you? What do you mean? I know what I'm supposed to do. Go up, keep it short, don't use my best stuff so that Joe looks better. I get it. What are you talking about? Polly, talk to me, man. You don't need to worry about it. Do you honestly think for a second I think you're funnier than me? I don't know, Joe. And honestly, it took until just now for me to finally get it. I don't know if the special will come, and I don't care. Because you know what, Joe? Do you know what? Bam! Joe! Son of a bitch! How's it going? Looking good. Can't wait to hear that special. Polly, <clears throat> I'm talking to Joe right now. Could you shut it? I'd rather die on my feet. Thanks so much. Have a good night. Therapy's expensive. It's, it's so expensive, I've been trying to make it a little bit more affordable for myself. You know, so I was talking to my sister, and I said, you know, we have the same mom, so we have the same mommy issues. Why don't you fire your therapist? I'll go, I'll tell Linda everything, I'll come back to you, I'll tell you what she says, and then you can Venmo me 90 bucks. 
I am not into casual sex. It's cool, it's fine, I know. It's not a popular opinion. It's particularly the whole friends with benefits scenario. I'm just not sold on it. Now, a lot of times I feel like the benefits, they end up sounding a lot like my health insurance. Just keep hearing, it's not covered. <laughs> Therapy's expensive. You know, it's so expensive that uh, I'm really selective about what I talk about. I had an ex-boyfriend who said, Stephanie, I really hope you don't talk to your therapist about me. I was like, oh my god, no, of course I don't. I only talk about things that are actually significant. <laughs> I had figured out the best place for casual sex. <laughs> Weddings. No, it's great. You can get recommendations. <laughs> you know? I'm going to therapy, so don't worry about me. I'm getting help. Therapy's expensive. You know, it's so expensive, I want to use my therapist like a lawyer would use an expert witness to win a case. I was having a fight with my mom. I was like, Mom, I told Linda what you said, I told Linda what you did, and she said you're a bitch. <laughs> all right, it's basically a diagnosis. And then my mom got all upset about it, and I said, listen, I'm right, you're wrong, case closed. <laughs> you guys were great, thank you so much, that's my time. <laughs> I think I can uh, get your autograph? I don't have a pen. <laughs>